This is part three of how to service a mixing desk. In this part, I'm going to show you how to clean the PCBs inside the desk. Be careful when handling them. It's probably worth getting, uh, I can't find the type of glove I use in the video, but there's a special type of glove you can use, well, any glove would probably do, just to avoid getting static on the PCBs and ruining anything. Uh, you'll need some isopropyl alcohol, the 99.9% .9 stuff. So I'll put links to this in the description. That just uh, that evaporates quickly and gets them nice and clean. Uh, I mean, it's probably good to have cotton buds to hand. They're good for getting in between places, especially for cleaning all the dust on the faders. You'll be surprised how much dust falls between these little slots on the desk and gets into the faders. Um, again, Deoxit D5, great for cleaning all the switches and knobs, of which there's millions on this desk. And uh, Deoxit Fader Lube, same thing, green. Um, yeah, enjoy the video. This is one of the first uh, strips of eight channels. So I'm gonna clean this. I sort of do it in stages. Firstly, I go over it with some of this. It's just uh, a compressed can of air, really. So you blow off the dust with that. I've got a selection of these flux brushes. I label them all up so I don't get them mixed up. I use this one for giving it a dust over. So I give it a dust over. I do those first two steps in a different room just because if I'm blowing all the dust off this, not that there is much, but there's probably a thin film over all of it, I don't want it going back on to all the other PCB bits I've got laying around. So it's nice and clean in here. So I'm going to blow the dust off and give it dusting in another room. And then what I'm going to do is spray it with some very strong alcohol and sort of work that all over it. With this, it sort of evaporates pretty quickly. So going all over these bits, all the components, um, I'll also be cleaning the inside of these jacks with cotton buds dipped in the alcohol and any of these little connections where the ribbon cables go I'll be using some Deoxit D5 so spray a tiny bit of that in there and I, I like to work it in with a with a flux brush so that this is my Deoxit brush so right around so I'm going to do the first two bits in a different room and I'll bring the camera with me it will look terrible but you may as well see it's probably easier to do this on your lap, wearing a glove, just in case there's any static on, static on my hands. So now I'm going to give it a bit of a uh, go over with the spray. I don't know if you can see that, there's actually quite a lot of dust on there. And then start dusting. surprising amount of dust and the same goes for the back I mean there's doesn't look like there's anything on there but there's probably a tiny bit so I'm going to use some cotton buds just to give these fader chassis a bit of a clean over because I think from where it was last serviced it seems to have a bit of <laughs> overspray which dust is stuck to so just giving that a wipe down one side that's from one side of a fader so that's going to work its way into the desk so I'm going to give those a wipe over I'm not going to use fader lube this time because it's had some recently I don't want to overdo it um, but I'm going to go through <clears throat> spray every single one of these knobs, give them a twist, and that's going to be with this Deoxit D5. And then, and the same goes for the buttons, push them a loads of times with a bit of Deoxit in it. 
and then give the whole board a clean over with the isopropyl 99.9% .9 alcohol and give it a bit of a rub over with the old flux brush labelled alcohol. Don't drink this stuff. Um, and then clean the back. So I'm just going to do these faders. In fact, I'll zoom in on the faders because they are, considering this has just had a service, it's surprisingly dirty. So. This one I'm going to zoom do. I don't, I can't get that to focus, but that is unbelievable. Luckily, I've got hundreds of these. Just as a note, if the faders aren't running smoothly, get some uh, deoxit fader lube. It's about 20 pounds, probably a bit more than that, probably 25 pounds. But these all run very nicely. I can tell they've been cleaned recently with it. Uh, well, in fact, I know they have. So if yours are a bit sticky or you feel they need it, get some. It's good to have some anyway. I've got some in a drawer somewhere. And try not to get, try not to push any of this dirt into the fader. Try and remove it from it. So that is looking far better. Um, now to go over it with some of this Deoxid D5 in every single switch. Right, I can tell they definitely didn't put this on all the knobs because they all feel quite tight until you turn them a few times and then they loosen right up and they start feeling nice and smooth again. I, I mean the difference is just unbelievable. So I don't think this received a proper service. In fact, I can, <laughs> I can feel that they're notched and before I couldn't. You know, they're, so you can set them to zero. Which is something I should really have known. I mean, that is. I'm just going to give the terminals a quick going over whoop, uh, that the ribbon cables connect to. Deoxid brush. And then I'm just going to go quickly over the board because there's a bit that's gone on the board everywhere so I'm just going to give it a bit of a brush over with this. Um, just to spread it around a bit so it dries. I'm going to give the faders a quick wipe over as well with more cotton buds just to get the worst of it. <clears throat> and 
now a careful spray of it with some alcohol. Um, yeah, and I use my alcohol brush. This stuff evaporates really quickly, so you know it just cleans everything up a bit. I've poured some alcohol into this container so that I can get some more of these cotton buds. Let me just zoom in so you can see. Give this a little dip dip. And then clean each one of these. Not too bad. Little bit dirty but not too bad. So that's cleaning one of the boards within the uh, mixing console. There's three of those kind to clean and then the master one. I'm not going to show you all of them because it's exactly the same procedure. I may show you a couple of other bits on the way like how to clean the XLRs, uh, the pins of those, but generally jack sockets use cotton buds soaked in alcohol, clean those out yeah, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching part three of how to service a mixing console. Um, in the final part, I'm gonna show you how to clean, uh, an in-depth look at how to clean all the jack sockets, so get your cotton buds handy. Uh, also how to clean the XLRs and the ends of the ribbon cables, and then put it back together and give it a sound test. So please like, subscribe, and comment.